Ryder had some struggles in life from being born severely prematurely. He had visual impairments, hearing impairments, and some developmental delays, but he had the best smile in the entire world, and his laugh was so infectious. I would always joke with him. I'd lay with him in his bed, and I'd always be like, you're my best friend, because I could just talk to him. And, um, yeah, he was just amazing. I'm a pediatric emergency room nurse, living in Children's Hospital. I went to work, I kissed him goodbye at 10 o'clock that morning and he was fine. I received a telephone call from his nurse and she said, Ryder's not responsive, Ryder's not responsive. I said, it's gonna be okay, like just get him here. And she said, no, he does not have a pulse. There was a prolonged period of time where he didn't have a heartbeat, wasn't breathing on his own. And then through the heroic efforts of the medic team, they were able to administer medicine and form advanced life support and, and get a heartbeat back. Once I knew that Ryder was on his way, I ran back into the department. I was no longer a nurse at that point, I was a mom. I am so incredibly grateful that I work with the people that I work with because those were my friends. They were my friends that were working on my son. After he was evaluated in our emergency department and went to the intensive care unit, over the subsequent hours to days, they were able to do additional testing and, and realize that that period of time that he had in the pre-hospital setting had limited brain flow when his heartbeat wasn't sending blood or perfusing his brain. They tried to rule out everything, but at that point he was brain dead. She very quickly and courageously made the decision for Ryder to be an organ donor, and organ donation can be life-changing, life-saving, and she wanted Ryder's legacy to continue in that way. It was at that point that he told me that he would get with LifeShare and then start the process from there. LifeShare is an organization that works with the hospitals to facilitate organ donation. And once you kind of pinpoint what exactly you're comfortable with doing, they go through what the testing is involved with that. Fortunately, a lot of people don't like to think that children pass, and they surely don't want to think about doing organ donation for children, but there are so many children that need hearts, that need lungs, that need livers, and if you can help those families not have to go through what I went through, a thousand percent. I lost all control when my son died. I lost all control that day. Life Share and the doctors that worked with me gave me some of that control back so I could sit there and say, what do I think Ryder would want me to do? Being able to honor my son by blessing other people with that, and there's no greater gift, I mean, than the gift of life, and that's what he gave. He gave to seven recipients the gift of life.